Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Houston Cougars. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I think it's a major mismatch. You're talking about David versus Goliath. I mean, they got to go out and play with no fear. They can't be worried. The Cougars face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. Number one, take away their outside shooters. Force them to put the ball on the floor. Force them to drive, baby. Second, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Thirdly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. And the ball goes out of bounds. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He stole the ball, great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Fed the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. The power forward receives the ball. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The small forward handles the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. Inside, Land receives the pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step and then run. Bland handles the feed. Bland is emotionally fired up. Hey, can you blame him, Red? He's getting it done. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the outside, trying to pack it inside. Gets it to fall. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He fires from long range. He gets the bucket. Inside. He goes with a jump hook. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Shooter spotting up on the three. Land. Basket and the harm for the senior. He's got a big time harm, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets it. He'll regroup the offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Goes up for two. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? 
Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Top of the circle. Drains the shot. On the inside. For two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. For the bucket, and in and out. Leans in. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dude. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't... Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. High post screen. So effective, that screen. And he'll kick it back outside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? The pressure that basketball. Help one another communicate. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. He shoots from downtown. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. pass in the Ooh, look at the shot block and got some contact nice hops there appears to be a mismatch in the post you're right Brad there is a mismatch with a deep shot from outside way off target they say forget about it and then he does a little dribble attack here and turns it over And he'll kick it back outside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Cue the rewind button, boys. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Got a double. nice screen for two. Perfectly executed. That was a 
great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. From downtown, off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the outside, he makes a nice shot fake. And we got a whistle and a foul. Look at that spacing. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. Cross court. Picked out of the air. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Done. Pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He gets it to go. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBA. From the top of the key, he buried that one from way deep. Say right here, Mr. Vitale. Flop City! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Tries for two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump Man. shot. Soft as velvet. Fading away, impossible to block. He tries the three. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Goes. Wow, let's check out the replay. to go. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Way off target. And he scores it off the glass. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from left of the circle. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. From way outside. Sinks it. Done. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. Picked off. There was no doubt about that one. For two. And he missed. Looking for the foul. Oh, yes. They work the perimeter. In the paint. He launches the bomb. You betcha. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, the crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? All right, thanks, Erin. Up fake. There's the trap. Good job defensively. And again, they look and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Dump it inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Had a momentary look from three point land. Working it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And the fans are going wild. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Off the rim and no good. High post screen, gonna use it. Double team now, bad angle. He goes for three. He drains the shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He makes the block. Look at that spacing. They're working around the perimeter. Steals a pass. Trying to draw the foul. It sticks. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow <laughs> on the inside tries to get the D to bite tries for two I thought does a great job getting post position hey Brad that shot's impossible to stop it's unbelievable it's not utilized enough Team. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Number 34 with the fake. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. They 
work it around the perimeter. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Tries a three. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. He attempts the trifecta. That's good. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the outside. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. He fouled him. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. In the paint with the fake. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Looking for a good shot. He up fakes. Set that screen away. He shoots from right of the circle. Got it. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Defense, defense. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? At the free throw line. Opportunity. Gets his first. Takes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down. He rejects it. Head up. You got to have vision. You got to see the open man. You can't be that aggressive. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the free throw line. Gets the first shot. Two at the charity strike. Three. 
There was no doubt about that one. For two, can't get the shot to drop. He gets that one to fall. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. the shot the Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball that is on fire at halftime the Aggies are up by seven Houston has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, nah, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. And he'll kick it back outside. He unloads a three. Dickie's simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. He may be in trouble here, Brad. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Manley draws the personal. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Second one is no good. They work the perimeter. He dials long distance. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Foul charge. Dick about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing, you don't get a big edge as a home team. the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, a great spin move to the basket. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. They need to get them the ball there. The ball goes out of play. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. There's the screen up on top. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact.
Entry pass in the paint. Fakes a jumper. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Harm and foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Here's a flash from the high post. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. The center takes the pass in the paint. Now the high screen. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Pump fakes. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. You gotta eliminate those turnovers. With a quarterback pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. Knocks it down. There's the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, what a great job transition, offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the baseline. Way off target. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He puts up the three ball. The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. In the paint. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Stolen away. Here we go on the break. He hammers it home. There's a double team waiting there. Strips the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Reese. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brian. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. At the line. He sinks it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. He tries the three ball. 
He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The silence is almost unbearable, Dick. The crowd has had very little to cheer about. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. He attempts the three. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> we'll get back to the action here after the timeout. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He wants an up-tempo style of game. Dick, you think they're gonna stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing now, my friend. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Manley's modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Brad, he's at what many people call a funk. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Three, three, four, two. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D, I love it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Intercepted. They push it up on the break. Goes up for two. Tickles a twine. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. 
stolen away. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. That's still unanswered. To the action now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. Foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. And they get the turnover. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the three ball. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the favorites tonight have exposed the opponent's weaknesses and capitalized on defensive stops. And what a display and show they put on tonight. from three-point land. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. He wants a three. They let him get into a rhythm. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Replay of the night, baby. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Moving it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. And coming the other way on a break for the bucket. Up, easy one. Oh, oh, four, two. Oh. away the pass with a long bomb dump it inside shots there if he wants it leaning in trying to draw contact Four, 
Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. On the outside. There's the trap. He's money with a shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented yeah. guards up there. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Jumped in front to take it away. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Double team now, bad angle. Takes it off him. From right of the circle. Way off target. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Leans in. Hey, even with the double team, you still have to rotate. Somebody really missed their cue. That was awesome, baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Taken away. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out, and that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. And we'll go to the free throw line. He misses the first shot. Problems so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. And a momentary look from three point land. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. Gets it back out. He shoots from outside. Way off target. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Down in the low close defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. He takes the three. Goes.
Takes the pass in the paint. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. From beyond the arc, he hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Shot clock is dead. Steals a pass. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Mr. Nestler looks like there'll be an easy two here. Dick, we expected them to win. They did win. They've been impressive all year long, and they just keep rolling along. Well, they're impressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Houston is absolutely stunned in this whale of a blowout. The question is, is anyone surprised? So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.